Frank, I'm installing a heat shrink termination. Uh, this is the same heat shrink technology that we've had for about 30 years. That's correct. And we're one of the largest termination manufacturers worldwide. But not a lot of utilities like to use heat shrink termination, is that right? That's correct, Frank. Okay, why don't you show me what you have in cold apply? Certainly. So Harry, what do we got here? This is a cross-link polyethylene insulated uh, aluminum cable. So this is the kind of cable that most utilities use in the United States. I see an aluminum conductor, cross-link polyethylene or XLPE. XLPE, semicon, uh, and jacketed concentric neutral wires. And these neutral wires are large and they're kind of bulky. This is the kind of termination that is used outside and usually is not done with a heat shrink termination. That's is that cor correct? That's correct, Frank. That's because a lot of utilities don't like to take the torch or they're not equipped with a torch for this kind of installation. So this lends itself quite well to a cold applied product. That's correct. Okay. And this cable is already prepared for the installation of a cold applied termination. You've taken the semicon back, you've cleaned it up, you made sure you didn't get any nicks or digs into the insulation. You did a good quality workmanship job here, right? That, that's correct. Okay, let's put the termination on. The first thing we want to do is to install this stress control patch. This is a different stress control than I'm used to. Usually I, I see tubings. Yeah, this is actually a stress control patch that can be pre-positioned on, on the uh, cable. I see. And what kind of material is this? This looks different than everything yeah. I've seen. This is actually a metal oxide matrix material. And this stress control material, which has been newly developed, um, allows this, this termination to have a higher BIL. You want to pre-position the mastic about an inch up onto the semicon, making sure you're overlapping it. And just take that and simply wrap it around. Yeah, I see. So you put the mastic on, you know where that mastic is versus when you have those spiral type terminations with the stress control on the inside, you're never really sure whether you got that on the semicon and it's really critical for that to touch the semicon? It's very, very critical. It's important that the, that the stress control is placed in the proper position. So here you know where it is. It's making contact with the semicon and it's not moving around. Right. Okay, and this is just a mastic, a gray mastic. I'm sure it's suitable for outside, non-tracking. Yeah, this, we're simply taking a sealant mastic wrapping it around and building up a moisture barrier. Okay. In this case, we're sealing underneath, underneath the, the neutral wires. And then on top? And then on top. So you sandwich the neutral wires between layers of mastic. Install two more wraps over top of the neutral wires. Yeah. And I noticed that when you installed this, you didn't put a little bead of grease at the semicon cutback. I guess you don't need it with this material. There's no need for that with this um, stress control patch because the patch actually fills in the area oh, okay. at the semicon cutback. And now you're going to install the outer housing. Right. But this looks a little different than what I'm used to. I've seen a lot of these cold applied terminations with an enormous spiral that you have to pull out. You keep pulling this very lengthy, long spiral out. And you know you got to be careful that you don't get your hand up into the high voltage lines. Yeah. So this doesn't have that. I see it's got something different. What does that have? Yeah. There's none of that nonsense with this termination. This termination is, is a silicon body that's stretched onto an ABS holdout tube, and there's a silicon grease applied under the termination. It simply slides off the tube. Okay. How do you do that? All you want to do is, is just rotate the silicon body on the ABS holdout to activate the silicon grease. Let me give it a try. So you just kind of twist it. Oh, I see what you mean. Very easy to do. And you kind of twist it until this thing is sliding back and forth. And this little symbol here, I guess, is designed to show you where the lug end is. That's an indicator right? on, on the position of the lug. Oh, OK. So you're going to slide this on? And now there's no worry about mispositioning this because you already got your stress control patch. That's on correct. There. The patch has already been applied at the center okay. cutback. Here we simply just, just want to position the edge of the tube against the neutral wires. OK. Right up on the jacket and then simply start to twist the holdout tube. So you just twist it and pull it out. Very it hard. Very easy operation. Uh, it looks like it's pretty easy. And this is ABS, so I guess it's recyclable versus that other big spiral, that very long spiral, probably a lot of garbage involved in that, and this is totally recyclable. In this case, um, you, I've actually installed the termination in the correct position. But if you needed to, you can actually slide this termination in, into the correct position. So you can reposition the termination. The other kind with the big spiral, once you pull that spiral out, it shrinks down and it's and locked that's it. in position. So if you got it wrong, you got to cut it off, right? That's correct. Now to finish this, this installation off, 
We simply want to want to grab these ears and roll this flap over top of the neutral. Oh, wires I see what you mean. And finish. Just stick your fingers underneath that, and that's it. And now you're ready to energize the circuit? You're ready to energize the circuit. So we have stress control. You know the stress control is in the right spot. You got sealant. You didn't have to put any grease in there. You didn't have to put a wrap of tape up here to seal the end. And then you're ready to energize the circuit. We're ready to go. Well, that's pretty easy. That's it for the cold applied termination.